We can think about the diagnosis. How we can make the diagnosis of meningitis? We can see that there are symptoms that we can see. We can see that there is a possibility, probability that we can see. To make it confirmed, we have to do certain investigations. We can see that blood culture, we will do it. Blood very well spread down on many chest load. Blood culture we can do at the same day. CT we can do MRI chain. But complicated, uncomplicated meningitis will not have any positive finding in CT, MRI, or manifestation. Karanatilla. Karanam. CT, MRI, manifestation. Karanamangal. Head injury. Karanam. Alangal hydrocephalus. Sundangal. Karanam. So, complicated meningitis only can be revealed by CT and MRI. That's why we can't say that. Otherwise, it doesn't have any meaning to make a diagnosis of meningitis. Only the best popular, the best way of confirming CSF analysis, meningitis is CSF analysis. But CSF analysis is very cheap. We need to use L4 load. Aspirating CSF, doing the analysis. Now, I am going to do an assignment here. CSF analysis is what I am going to do. That is TB meningitis, bacteria meningitis, viral meningitis, fungal meningitis, all of them. How many protein, pressure, presence of blood, CSF. Now, one profile you have to make. CSF analysis is a different category of Meningitis itu juga, adalah warna finding yang ada pertengahan baca pelajaran cerita. Apa nama karya? LP, nama kita cahaya nanti ni mungkin apa? Apa nama orang ikhlas? Antibiotik start cahaya. If you are starting antibiotics after before LP means that may miss get the confirmation. So what you have to do? Kala do the LP, collect the CSF. After that only you have to start the probable, alangkah possible antibiotic. Then because otherwise, when the ICP is increased, then as well as CT, it is not only CT. It is not only LP. Otherwise, or a high herniation possibility is there. When we are drawing CSF, that means if the ICP is very high, that will lead to herniation, or we may say it is a coning of brain. If all the things you are carrying, the carrying plan, I am telling you, all the things. CSF test must be done and sputum we have to analyze at the same time nasopharyngeal secretion you have, we have to check before starting antibiotics but uh, gram stain will be done to make the diagnosis of um, the bacteria and we have you know that prominent WBC cells will be seen in CSF especially but neutrophils are more predominantly seen in bacterial meningitis. MRI it doesn't have any meaning. CT and MRI doesn't have any meaning for making a diagnosis of a uncomplicated meningitis. Only a complicated meningitis with the fracture as well as the hydrocephalus can be confirmed by using, using CT and MRI. Then similarly, how we can manage? The complications we have seen, how we can manage in our career, it must be considered as a medical emergency in the parano at the same time. So at an earlier time itself, you have to, after doing LP, you have to do the antibiotic must be started. So ampicillin, penicillin, vancomycin, others of cetriamycin, other not depends upon the policy of the hospital. You can start. Dexamethasone must be started. That is, we know that corticosteroid on corticosteroid is not a good thing. It is a severe, yeah, um, sensitive, uh, uh, very strong inf anti inflammatory, and a strong inflammatory agent. And the brain that the dexamethasone could come up if inflammation is coming down definitely, so the edema also be, will be less. Of course, the uh, dexamethasone directly will not reduce ICP, indirectly, it is reducing ICP by reducing the this inflammation on the lana. So sometimes it may be asked for a viva. How is dexamethasone is an anti-edema measures? In one way it is true. It is partially true because dexamethasone or corticosteroid is a 
strong anti-inflammatory agent. Once the and inflammation comes down, definitely edema will be reduced. That is why we are we are giving antibiotic dexamethasone and all. But we when so this is really when others are only supportive line of management, I we go to know your narrative, I'm stupid, whatever it is, supportive line of management. But then neurological assessment is very, very important. Next I will be dealing the nursing management. In short, I am skipping nursing management. The first step will be assess the patient by doing neurological assessment. So neurological assessment itself is a separate topic. If uh, the candidates are interested, one day I will teach you how a neurological assessment is done because that is the basic thing to be followed for all the neurological conditions. So today itself Neurological assessment and medical subject and the questions Neurological assessment. nursing management, first we have to do a neurological assessment. But Namakaria management medical management prevention Meningitis, to a greater extent, we can prevent it. Namukaria pneumococcal pneumonia, Namuka pneumococcal vaccination, Namuk Kodukuno, life film number one, the Dithalmari, pneumococcal vaccine, Edith Karinjal, Nyanaka Edithund, Kalam, Valare, liable, vulnerable group, age lagam, severe diabetes agam, patients underwent, is undergoing renal disorders. Patients are on immunosuppressants, they will be developed, liable to develop pneumococcal pneumonia. After the meningitis, after the lung abscess, brain abscess. If we are taking pneumococcal vaccine, in at least in once in life, definitely there is possibility to prevent the respiratory infection. From there, the spread of meningitis to the brain can be avoided. But prevention is there. Meningitis, hemophilus influenza vaccine, and for But then respiratory infections on the marinilla. Hemophilus influenza condola, meningitis varinilla. Either lump prevent you on. So then nowadays, meningococcal vaccine itself is available. Vaccine as a optional one night to That means in future we can prevent the development of meningococcal. Three types of vaccines itself is available. We can prevent prevention of meningitis, hemophilus influenza vaccine, pneumococcal vaccine, meningococcal vaccine. These are the three types of vaccine to, through which the greater ones of um, development of meningitis can be avoided. Similarly, tuberculosis meningitis, because of the incident, high incidence of TB, TB meningitis is high, but at the same time, the mandate test is available, BCG through BCG itself, development of TB meningitis can be to a greater extent we can prevent. Otherwise, the respiratory traction infection is a treatment. Treatment of ear infection is a meningitis. That is preventive. Especially, if we have bystander, contact with the bacterially infected patients. Bacterial meningitis on the patient in the Kuda Nukana bystanders in our Kuella prophylactic antibiotic must be given. Prophylactic antibiotic must be given for those who are having contact with the bacterial meningitis. But Ithrail Kariang Lana, Yana Idanath Parana Panamakaria, nursing care, support till a fever under antipyretic, Dharalam Balam Kodakuga, the Ivo chart to maintain Jaya, temperature chart to the constrictor to maintain Jaya, darkened room when a patient could Kanyamparano, photophobia is there. Not only that, patients on and off may develop seizure. So, to avoid this type of epileptic foci, always provide a darkened room. You on and off, we have to check the level of consciousness. Mental status examination should be done. A the brain infection, there is a strong relationship with um, uh, physical CNS symptoms uh, as well as uh, psychiatric manifestation, hallucination, delusion, and memory loss, uh, retention in Lima. This is the So, mental status examination you have to do, neurological assessment you have to do, IO chart, neck pain, severe pain. Undo. We have a codeine code, analgesic effect, and we have a respiratory deterioration possibility. We have a small dose of 
of namal observe the person whether there is any respiratory center deteriorate namakku ariyan brain le occipital region la respiratory center vomiting center cardiac center idellam irikkunnathu appo respiratory dysfunction lot poga rate ok koraya sadhyathe ullathu kondu when the person you are sedating or a mild dose must be if it is really mandatory only you have to give it adu pole thana hallucination pinne patient njan paranju fever level of consciousness altered aanu then the person definitely there is a, a level of seizure possibility und so you provide all the precautions to prevent the fall in the case of meningitis patient just like some ipo nammal seizure stroke patient o angane ok ullavare kedathunnathu pole ne ella protection rails to be feeding or in short i want to say that respiratory isolation is mandatory for a patient with meningitis karanam through secretion so organism may come out until culture is negative appa culture cheyumbol negative aagunnathu vare nammal respiratory isolation and we have to wear gloves mask ella prophylactic methods um use cheya dear waste disposal proper irikanam bystanders ne preventive alle protective antibiotic kodukkunna varyam pinne idinde kodu nammal njan nerathe paranju ingane ulla patients disability is cranial nerve which cranial nerve is affected cranial dysfunction and other anserichulla symptoms gana disabilities will be there either a temporary disability or a permanent disability like hearing loss or may some person may develop hemiplegia hemiparesis as complication of uh, meningitis adu varadirikkan vendiyal nammal patient on and off different types of exercise kodukunu patient we are rehabilitating them, helping the person coming back to normal life appo itrayum neram njan paranjathu nammal today onwards we will be on and off discussing neurology adile cns le common act varavuna brain infection aanu paranjathu idinathu rendu moonu assignment njan paranju athrayum correct aayittu ningal cheyidan cranial nerve gal edana adinte functions edakeyana csf analysis edakeyana ennu njan paranju adu pole thadeyana nammal ee oro ബയ ടൈപ്പ് മെനഞ്ചൈറ്റിസിലും കേട്ടോ ഞാൻ ഈ പറഞ്ഞ ഇതുപോലെ തന്നെ നിങ്ങൾ ചെയ്ത് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ തീർച്ച ന്യൂറോളജിക്കൽ അസസ്മെൻറ്റ് മൂന്ന് അസൈൻമെൻ്റ് ആണ് തന്നത് ന്യൂറോളജിക്കൽ അസസ്മെൻറ്റ് സെപ്പറേറ്റ് ക്ലാസ് എടുക്കുമെങ്കിലും നിങ്ങളൊന്ന് വായിച്ച് വന്ന് കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ വളരെ എളുപ്പം നിങ്ങളിതൊന്നെല്ലാം വായിക്കണം റെക്കോർഡ് ചെയ്യണം പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് നിങ്ങൾ ബിഗിനേഴ്സ് ആകുമ്പോൾ എല്ലാം പല പല നോട്ട്ബുക്കുകളിൽ എഴുതിയിടുക നോർമൽ ഇന്ന് തന്നെ സി എസ് എഫ് അനാലിസിൻ്റെ നോർമൽ വാല്യൂസ് എല്ലാം എഴുതിയിട്ട് തീർച്ചയായും പഠിച്ചു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഇപ്പം ഇന്ന് ഞാൻ ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യല്ല വി സ്റ്റാർട്ട് അറ്റ് ദ ജേണി ഫ്രം വേരിയസ് ബ്രെയിൻ ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ ബ്രെയിൻ ആപ്സസ് പറഞ്ഞു ബ്രെയിൻ നമ്മളെ മെനഞ്ചൈറ്റിസ് എൻസ് തമ്മിലുള്ള വ്യത്യാസങ്ങൾ ഇൻ ഷോർട്ട് പറഞ്ഞു ഏറ്റോളജി പറഞ്ഞു പത്തോളജി പറഞ്ഞു ഓർഗാനിസംസ് പറഞ്ഞു ക്ലിനിക്കൽ മാനിഫെസ്റ്റേഷൻസ് കോംപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് മാനേജ് മെഡിക്കൽ മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് പറഞ്ഞു പ്രിവെൻറ്റീവ് മെഷേഴ്സ് പറഞ്ഞു ആസ് വെൽ ആസ് നേഴ്സിംഗ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ഇൻ ഷോർട്ട് ഐ വാസ് ടോക്കിംഗ് ത്രൂ ദ ടോപ്പിക് ബാക്ടീരിയ മെനഞ്ചൈറ്റിസ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ബാക്ടീരിയൽ മെനഞ്ചൈസ് ഇനി നമുക്ക് കുറച്ച് വൈറൽ മെനഞ്ചൈറ്റിസ് ഫംഗസ് മെനഞ്ചൈറ്റിസ് ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ട് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സബ്ജിക്കൽ ക്ലാസ്സസ് വി വിൽ ബി ഡീലിംഗ് ബട്ട് ദ അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ഡി യു ഹാവ് ടു തിങ്ക് ദാറ്റ് മെഡിക്കൽ സബ്ജിക്കൽ നേഴ്സിംഗ് ഇസ് എ ഓഷൻ ഒരു മഹാസമുദ്രമാണ് എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ചെറിയ ചെറിയ ഓരോ സമുദ്രങ്ങൾ ന്യൂറോളജി ഒരു സമുദ്രം കാർഡിയോളജി വേറൊരു സമുദ്രം നെഫ്രോളജി വേറൊരു സമുദ്രം ഇങ്ങനെ വരുന്ന പല പല സമുദ്രങ്ങൾ വന്നു ചേരുന്ന ഒരു മഹാസമുദ്രമാണ് മെഡിക്കൽ സർജിക്കൽ നേഴ്സിംഗ് അതുകൊണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ വൈഡ് റീഡിങ് നടത്തുക ഞാൻ നേരത്തെ പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ കുറച്ച് സിലബസ് തരുന്നു അല്ലെങ്കിൽ നമ്മുടെ കുറേ സോഡിയാക്കിൻ്റെ പബ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് തരുന്നു ഇതൊക്കെ അവിടെ ഇരിക്കട്ടെ അതിൻ്റെ കൂട്ടത്തിൽ വൈഡ് റീഡിങ് irrespective speciality you read it prepare your own note avasana parikshayama pettanu cns edukka go through cvs edukka go through adil ninnu ishtam pole ningalku idu kettum manasamadhanathodu kuda irunnu padichu na ithre samayam in front of you it is there nalla pole padikkuga theerchayayittu you will be getting an opportunity to get into the uh, nursing officer post of dhs i am uh, winding up the classes if you are having any doubt definitely arya Um, will be there in the sub or in the subsequent classes we can clarify it if something is there anyway thank you so much for listening till this time thank you